I'm Natasha Clausen. I've lived in Hong Kong for 17 years. I'm the current Mrs. Hong Kong World. I'm Richard Clausen, Natasha's husband, and um, being with Mrs. World makes me miss the world, I presume. <laughs> okay, well, they say a good story always starts and ends at the same place. So we start at an airport. Um, it was in Cape Town. I saw this um, young lady trying to put some baggage on the carousel at the check in counter, and um, she was struggling, so I offered to help her. She had a bit of attitude. I smiled, I looked at him and said thanks, but no thanks. And uh, when she walked away, I checked myself in and asked if I could sit next to her. And he said no, he couldn't. And I said to him, I'm vulnerable, please help me out here. That's what Natasha looked like. When we met. Yeah, still looked the same. <laughs> I wasn't interested in pursuing anyone at that time and when he came over and sat beside me I said to him you're wasting your time I can see right through you mm. <laughs> don't even bother <laughs> a bit of a sort of hunting game I think I he think. liked the fighting spirit yeah she's very feisty and she hasn't stopped she's still feisty <laughs> the surprising thing was 30 minutes into our chat crazy guy he proposed <laughs> 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 he asked me one question and that was, are you married? And um, I then answered, no, I'm not married. So he didn't even ask, was you know, there someone in your life or anything like that, just are you married? His words were, let's go over to the cockpit, to the flight deck and get the captain to marry us. Which you can't do. <laughs> Which you can't do. No. But it was banter and it was fun, it was really fun. I didn't say yes, I did not say no. We started communicating while I was in Dubai and my days off I'd fly back to Cape Town to visit Natasha. Our first date was January 10th and we agreed on sushi and skydiving. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and meeting your parents. And meeting my parents, he was crazy. <laughs> Early hours of the morning we bunked on the airport seats, mm. just the two of us sleeping in love. Hong Kong has given us a foundation to build our relationship, our friendship and our partnership because it feels like it's a partnership, it feels like something that we've invested in. We are absolutely growing as people and we change and we have a need to fulfill all our different stages in our life. It's taught me to, to see him through new eyes constantly. To choose the high road, to choose to be flexible, to choose to forgive and to choose to love, to love the person behind it all. Love is a feeling, it's not a choice, it's something either I have or I haven't and I feel I've got it. Other things you can choose but if you're with the right person you have a feeling, something I can't explain. <laughs>